All right, so I started the process of draining fluids on this thing. This is the 06 TRX 450R. All right, so now I'm getting ready to pull the oil filter out so I can show you what I mean. And as you can see in there, all those gold shavings. Uh, that is the thrust washer material from the crankshaft. Um, you can see there's a lot of it right there. So right here I have a crankshaft that was removed from my 2005 TRX 450R. No, you cannot interchange a 04 and 05 crank with an 06 or newer crank. 06 and newer is totally different. So what happens when your crank fails? On the 04 and 05, you have a bearing that is pressed into your left case half. And then your crankshaft is a special tool when installing this to get a press fit on here too, and your crankshaft is locked into place using the left crankcase. And so what happens is over the time of heat cycles, you know, heating up, cooling down, the aluminum expands, contracts, and eventually it just doesn't contract anymore enough around the outer race of the left bearing. And so what happens is it lets go of that left bearing, the outer races eventually just let go and your crankshaft just walks side to side and your weak point is going to be right in here you have these thrust washers that go in between you have one on each side they look like just a giant real thin washer and this is a piece of one for example on the 04 and 05s and you have a crank failure you're going to find essentially silver glitter in your oil filters and in your oil of course you're going to get a few little chunks of metal as well that are this color and usually it's those and if you're lucky you won't lose these in the crank and jam up your crankcase and destroy your case halves you could sometimes get away with reusing the left crankcase as long as it still has a press fit on the left bearing now in my opinion on the 04 and 05s if you're going to be doing a rebuild because of a crank failure just replace the case half completely it's expensive but just completely replace it because eventually it's going to lose that press fit on the outer race of the bearing so on the 06 is what happens uh, a bearing that basically drops into the case and then having a tab on each side with a jid screw which locks it in the problem with that is now your inner race right here let's go so you still end up with crank failure issue and in the 06 and newer usually you have uh gold glitter flakes in your oil filter and in your oil so i'm going to explain real quick why these thrush washers end up like this when your main bearings let go your crankshaft as i said is going to start walking side to side of course that's over exaggerated it's only about 20 or 30 thousandths of movement so you know your rod wants to go with the crankshaft and it really can't because of the piston the piston's basically holding the rod from moving side to side so what's going on is your crank is trying to move your rod wants to stay put and of course these are the weak links in there these end up getting ground down that's where your glitter starts coming from to the point where they actually eventually grind down just enough to where your rod gets enough play in it like that that it can just eventually pinch one of these guys and then it just turns it into this mess right here and on the 04 and 05s uh what honda did to fix the crank failure issues is they ended up putting a collar that is pressed onto the crankshaft right here and that is basically the inner race of the bearing as well because in the previous designs they actually just had a floating race that was on here and uh what would happen is it would cause the crank to move back and forth so that the new new design it presses on and then it supposedly keeps the bearing from moving back and forth but I've still seen crank failures after that. What I did is I, I first install the case halves and everything together, and I look for how much play the crank has. For example, 40 thousandths of an inch. Then I'll get a uh, shim of some sort that's the same outer diameter of the um, bearing and actually put a shim in there. And say, for example, the shim is 38 thousandths. I give a couple thousandths of clearance just for a little bit of oil and, uh, you know, temperature expansion and all that. And that's actually worked good. I've got that in my 450R, my black one. And it's been like that for about, 
uh, going on four or five years, something like that, and I've never had an issue with it since. I got the engine out of the quad and real quick I was gonna show before I took the engine out because you're to do when it's in the engine um, after you move your stator cover you can grab a hold of your flywheel and you just pull and push on it and if you listen let's see if I can get this to do what I'm talking about do this without the engine moving this is why I said it's easier to do when it's in the quad crank moves back and forth which you don't want so that would be the crank walking back and forth you can see all of that crap in there that's going to be it for this this part